Hi guys, welcome back to Sensations. It's been a long time since we played this together, and um, it's been an even longer time since I thought we'd get to play it, but then we weren't able to play it because Steam apparently was very awful to the creator of this game. Um, they kept having lots of setbacks from what I understand, um, but it's here now, that's what matters. And um, so I just want to... Let's, let's really, let's get started this video. Also, I, but first I want to mention, there's not going to be a link to this game in the description of the video, and that's only because I just got a strike for having a link in the description of one of my videos to buy the game, because the creator of that game updated their itch page to include pornographic material, um, and I got a strike for that, even though when I put the link there, there was no pornographic material there. So... I'm very paranoid and afraid now, so unfortunately I will not include a link to the game in the description, but obviously, you have Google, you have brains, you don't need links, okay? I'm sorry. Also, probably won't even have a link to my Twitter in the description, because, I mean, there's some R18 material there, right? I don't know. So you guys can just search me up on Twitter. Um, also, I um, updated a lot of my Patreon... Uh, tears. I added a lot of stuff, um, which you may be interested in, so you can go visit my Patreon if you like. I'm just gonna start implementing all of these new Patreon tiers and rewards, starting with this video and all the videos I make after this, so um, if you're interested in that, please go into it. I'm not gonna belabor it now. So let's just get right into it. Odd that that menu screen doesn't have any music, though. It has no music whatsoever. That's a little odd. But I'm not saying anything, even though I just said something. Why do we have a black screen? Okay. It seemed that like I had spent an eternity in hell. Once you're dead, you don't have clocks or the sleep and wake cycle to keep track of time. Things seem to stretch on forever. Alright, since it's been a while since I played this game, I'm just going to go ahead and allow the game to play itself out again. I'm not going to, you know, go skip happy or anything. Can I access the settings right now? I'm not sure. This is not in... what's it called? Ren-P. This is in Unity, so I can't just right-click out here. Alright, well... In actuality. I had barely been here six months. I was just an ordinary guy living in Japan. I was an artist, much to the dismay of my parents, but hey, I was sort of a rebel. My parents, despite their enormous disapproval, still helped me go through a prestigious art program. I had graduated and was looking for work, with little success. My parents never missed an opportunity to let me know how I could have been a neurosurgeon like my mom, or a mechanical engineer like my dad. So, not to give too much personal information, but I loved drawing porn. Specifically, uh, anime porn. I was pretty good at it. Unfortunately, that's a smaller market than the rest of the anime and manga world. So, I wasn't optimistic about my chances at getting a job. 
That's why you just sort of gotta, you know, open your Patreon and start selling it. <laughs> Personally, you know? That's that's how you make it as a artist these days, I feel like. But, um, also, my boyfriend is selling art. He's an artist now, you could say. He doesn't draw it, but he animates it. So... Yeah, I then, know how it feels. One day, I got a job. <laughs> I went through the first round interview. Then, the second. Then, the third. And finally, got hired at a small startup called Frigid Delights. Specializing in my own little specialty. I was thrilled, let me tell you. I was so thrilled, I was happily crossing the street. On my phone, texting my parents, lost in thought. Yeah, not the best idea. I got turned into asphalt pancake by a school bus. Oh, truck cunt. Apparently, my death was over pretty quickly, because there was a period of darkness. Then, my soul got sucked out of my body and raced down to hell. I was kind of disoriented, since it was my first time dying. As I approached the imposing gates of hell, I worried that an eternity of damnation and torment awaited me. Needless to say, my worries were for nothing. Hell wasn't all that bad of a place. It certainly was boring. A bleak plane of existence with mostly gray and muted colors. No real torture, other than boredom. The torture appeared to be heaven's propaganda. A lot That's of what I'm hoping for, because I'm going to hell. spooky and cavernous atmosphere. But there wasn't really much to be afraid of, other than Lucifer. Lucifer spent most of his time brooding and plotting in his throne room alone. Hell's denizens saw him infrequently at best. Fallen angels and dead humans spent their time telling each other stories of their time in heaven or on earth. Those stories had been repeated hundreds, sometimes thousands of times, depending on how long the demons or humans had been in hell. I had died at the ripe old age of 24, so I didn't have a lot of stories to tell. And the stories I did have to tell were boring. In short, my life was boring, and my afterlife is boring. You know, when I started playing this game, he was younger than me. Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. When I started playing this game, I was younger than him. Now I'm older than him. Oh, God. With souls constantly pouring into hell, scribe demons grumbled 24-7 about their workload, registering people into hell's database. Their bitter grunts were entertaining to listen to, but that got old. Sometimes, Hell's denizens would shake off their melancholy and have dances reminiscent of the time periods they were alive. Lucifer's hype man, Judas, tries to keep Hell entertaining by having karaoke events or scavenger hunts. But the real thing to look forward to was when Lucifer needed to choose a new deadly sin. Deadly sins are pretty interesting. Lucifer places deadly sins all over the world. They're basically just human incarnations of a specific sin. They're good at spreading. Lucifer decides when a new one is needed, or if one died and needs to be replaced. He would either have Judas hold a lottery to select the lucky deceased, or choose it himself in rare instances. After someone was chosen, Lucifer would craft them a physical body and send them back to the mortal world, wherever he determined they'd best serve. I didn't know it at the time, but there's several deadly sins, the world over. Lucifer follows some unknown set of restrictions, so he doesn't just flood the world with Hell's former denizens. The reward for serving as a deadly sin was demonhood. I'm not sure what makes being a demon so great, but a lot of people spoke reverently of the opportunity. Must be good if so many people want it, right? It's like pizza. Anyway, like I said, I've been here for six months. I met a few interesting people, among the billions of people here. Yes, billions. Turns out, heaven is extremely discriminating in who they allow up there. Speaking of interesting, here comes Chester. Chester was a roaring twenties all-American guy. Loves to talk about his dame and how much he had to live for, when his life was tragically cut short by a burst appendix. Eh, things happen. Kosuke! Good to see ya. Hey, Chester. So I'm really helping this time. Maybe I'll be selected this time, and I'll get to see Brooklyn again. <sighs> if you're chosen, and if you get sent to Brooklyn at all. I'm certain Lucifer would allow it if I served well. I'm certain of it. Maybe. 
Do we have any idea on when Lucy will choose his new pet? Oh, my stars! Lucy? You know Lucifer can hear everything here, if he wants. You need to be more respectful, this guy. Lucifer's given us a new lease on life every time he needs a new deadly sin. Potential new lease on life. And that chance gets smaller and smaller every day, with more souls pouring into hell. I understand that, but as long as Earth exists, I gotta be chosen eventually, right? Gotta keep hope alive. I'm not holding my breath. Many of Hell's denizens have been here for millennia, and have never been chosen. Just something for everyone to get excited over and then grumble about for a few months. Shush! Your mouth! Look! Lucifer and Judas have arrived! Oh, please, I want Hello. Judas. <laughs> oh, everyone! <laughs> uh, oh, yes, Judas. I remember you. Jeez! Tough crowd, tough crowd! Who died in here? So, you've all heard the rumors, and I'm here to confirm them for you. Lucifer has need of a new deadly sin of lust. What an opportunity. Lust has been a cornerstone of the deadly sins. I mean, who doesn't like a little hanky-panky no matter where you are in life? Am I right? Yeah, am I right? Yes, lust! Imagine it! A sexual tyrannosaurus! A god of all things carnal! Ooh, I'm half a wreck just... Thinking about it. Oh God. Who? Just kidding. Or am I? You know, I think we could have had a route with Judas if y'all hit the Patreon, Patreon, the Kickstarter goal. But y'all didn't. So I don't know why I'm talking to you guys. Like you guys specifically didn't. But I was so shocked that this game did not get a higher. You know, it didn't have more pledged on Kickstarter. Maybe just because, you know, this is the first game made by this creator, by this group, so, hmm, maybe that's why. Um, because the demo looked obviously amazing, as we all remember. Or was it Lucifer that there was going to be a route of, and not Judas? Well, I don't remember. Okay, maybe I just want there to be a route of Judas. opportunity comes new benefit. You'll get a fantastic ability to seduce people. It will even help you seduce people who don't want to be seduced. There will be so much seducing. Wow. You could even seduce me if you want. <laughs> I joke, I joke. Knock it off, you perverts. So, in traditional fashion, we've come up with three final contenders. Who among these three will be reincarnated as lust? A ravenously sexual beast? An insatiable hobby! A domineering force of every bodily pleasure! We'll start off by naming our first contender. Ashley Princeton! Give it up for Ashley! That's right, Ashley, come on down! You've got just minutes to give a speech about why you should be lust. Be convincing, be demure. Show a little cleavage if you want. Show us lust! Um, <laughs> hi everyone! Oh my gosh, I'm just so honored to be here! Like with Lucifer and Judas. Love you, Judas! <laughs> and whoa, what an opportunity! I mean, I am totally down to be lust. <laughs> Let me just tell you that straight out. When I was alive, I was a slut. A big slut. Like, wow, you know how those sorority girls get? <laughs> I guess that's all I really have to say. I'm so honored for this opportunity. Ashley, thank you. Give it up for Ashley, everyone. Next up, huh? What's this? I can barely read the name. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> have to keep you on your toes. Father Carl. Oh, no. Why don't you step on up and give us a good speech on why you have a burning desire to be the next lost? Not Father Carlson. Um well, I guess I'd be a good candidate because I had a ton of experience with it when I was alive. You know, the whole celibacy thing. It gets hard. My, oh my, I can only imagine how hard it was. <laughs> Who 
Woo! Wow, we! What a lineup we've got here! Our last and final contender has a couple huge acts to follow. Kosuke Arai! Come on up here and tell us why you're so intent on being lost! Um. So, uh. I guess I'd be a good candidate because. I used to draw a lot of porn secretly, so I've got that hidden lust thing going on. I'm pretty good at it, too. Whoa! -ho -ho -ho! A stunning revelation! An innocent looking guy like Kosuke up here filling his school bind is full of naughty, salacious drawings. Truly magnificent. Now, Lucifer and I will take a moment to talk and decide on a winner then! Huh? Oh! Oops! I mean, we've already chosen Kosuke as the obvious choice. <sighs> Off the stage, Ashley! Father Carlson! You too! Out! Out! Let's hear it for our new deadly sin of lust! I didn't. <laughs> I didn't mean to skip Lucifer's line, but Judas's line auto completed and immediately went to Lucifer's. And then I was just trying to, you know, advance Judas's line, then I accidentally skipped over Lucifer's. It wasn't my fault. Alright, Kosuke, we've got a few things to go over. You're going to be the new deadly sin of lust overseeing Sin City. Las Vegas! What happens there stays there. Truly not a place for a novice. But I'm sure you have things well in hand. Right. Okay, so when you become a deadly sin, Lucifer gives you a teensy little test. Just to make sure you're going to be able to handle whatever your new life throws at you. Your test is going to be seducing all six of the other local deadly sins. You got to get them to love you. And it has to be done within two months. Two, no more, no less. I guess less of you can manage it. What? Love? How am I supposed to get one person to love me in two months? Much less six. Don't be such a worry, Ward. You'll figure it out, big strapping guy that you are. Now first, your new power. You activate this power by inclining your neck and thinking dirty thoughts about the person you're trying to seduce. Woo! Ooh, go on, give it a try. Think something naughty about me. Hmm. Oh, he's so happy to do it, as am I. You'll get the hang of it, I'm sure. Not a bad first attempt. I think I felt a jingle in my loins. Woo! Okay, second. You have this handy-dandy hell watch. It's my own creation, and it helps you find where the deadly sin you're trying to pursue is. Just whisper to it, and it will activate. Cool, fashionable, and serviceable. Uh, um, cool. Lastly, you're given the latest model hell phone. That's what I call it anyway, because I'm clever. The hell phone operate anywhere with any service. I originally made the Airy code 666, but that seems so on the nose. Now it's 696, because you're lost. So just make sure you give the area code to any of your potential sexcapades. And they'll be able to get a hold of you. This is a lot to take in so suddenly. Lastly, your body is due for retrieval if you fail to seduce anyone. Nothing you do will be considered private at any time, and Lucifer and or I are more than within our right to check in on you at any time to see your progress. You are not able to tell anyone that you are trying to seduce that you are a deadly sin until after they have decided they love you of their own free will, void where prohibited. I just skipped another line because of the same issue as before. It keeps auto-advancing on me. <gasps> Any questions? My body? Retrieval? What? Oh, don't worry about that. We'll cross that bridge when we burn it. Enough talking, Judas. I am constructing his body now. Serve well, and be rewarded. I want to come back, Lucifer Daddy. I love this part! I want you two to tag team me. Jesus! You see, even this I don't feel comfortable. YouTube is so crazy. Even this I don't feel comfortable with anymore because it's like implied nudity. You know, even though you really don't see them nude, it's like, you know they're nude. Don't you use that language in front of Lucifer! Oh, Las Vegas. I need clothes before I do anything. 
People are staring. Um, all right. We can hail a cab. Taxi! Taxi! What the hell? Where are your clothes? Oh, I don't need any clothes, Mr. Cab Driver. It was a very, very, very long night. Let me just rub your bald head. Let me oil it up. Well, we could have a sensual night, first. you and me. I'll take you to a clothing store. But you're gonna sit in the cab while I get you some clothes. And the meter is running. I appreciate the generosity. I have no money to pay for this cab. I wonder what he'll say when I tell him. All right. I'll uh, just be a second. Stay put. Okay. I wait in the cab for a few minutes before the driver returns with some clothes. Yeah, put these on. Then you can give me the money for the ride and the clothes. I mean, realistically, how did you think I would have money for the ride and the clothes? I'm naked. <laughs> Do you think I'm hiding my wallet up my anus? I mean, realistically, what is his... How is he thinking this is actually going to work out for him monetarily? Alright, um... Let's just flirt with him. I don't remember what... I, I did this back. I don't remember what happens if I flirt with him. I'll just flirt with him. Well, I don't have any money. How about I take you for a ride, since you were so kind to me? Let me take a huff off that cigar, please, Daddy. <laughs> I'm married, kid, and like twice your age. Must be a sad situation you're in for you to sell yourself. Get out of my cab before I call the cops for theft of services. Hmm, let's see. I have to gain the current sin's approval. I am now the incarnation of lust. I am in Las Vegas, and I have no resources but this hell phone and watch that shows me where the sins are. Uh, I suppose I should decide which sin to pursue first. Let's see. Alright, so I'm in the demo. Only three of them were available for me to even attempt at the start. Um, but this time we can choose from all six. However, I'm probably still just going to choose Dimitri. Um, <laughs> Dimitri is the only deadly sin to be tasked with a less is more situation. Luckily, his life is completely automated by computers, mining a newer digital currency known as Litcoins. Dimitri uses his profound knowledge of computers to automate the daily trading of this currency against other currencies, markets the world over. He does occasionally have to get up and monitor a few things like conventions or his company, but sleeping is his true passion. Dimitri isn't the youngest deadly sin at 20 years old. Wait. Dimitri is the youngest sin at 20 years old. He's also the smallest deadly sin, standing at just 5'3". But that doesn't m bother him much. People are much taller after sleeping anyway. Dimitri loves desserts and loves talking about technology and will talk your ear off about it if you let him. And he's Russian, 20 years old, inexperienced, delicious. Let's see, I just want to see... Everyone else is apparently fairly experienced, except for Rath, who's experienced. Very much so. But, um... So he's a disgusting, um... Crypto Redditor that probably is on Wall Street bets or something. So that's already minus one points for Dimitri, but I just... We have to go with him anyway. Um, I'm looking for a Dimitri Kanan. My hell equipment tells me he's at the Lotus Casino, in the penthouse suite. Must do well for himself. No time like the present to head over there. If Nuriko was watching this video, I'm sure he's shaking his head at me, going like, of course you'd pick that character first. I don't need to be attacked here on this channel. I don't need to be attacked. I really don't need that. Um... My watch I just like the Lotus cute Casino ones. Is about... Three minutes from here. Convenient. I arrive at the Lotus Casino, a luxurious modern casino with a deceptively soft exterior. Lotus Casino is set far back from the main Las Vegas Strip, giving it an alluring exclusivity. The casino is lit by a gentle purple and silver color scheme. Massive incense burners line the pathway to the casino, and a pleasant smell of wood and lavender wafts softly from them. I walk inside and the doorman nods to me. 
It is much less crowded inside. Maybe that's due to the price? I notice immediately that the people here are younger than the average age you would see at a casino normally. Young tech geeks with their ironic beards. College age entrepreneurs? I wonder what's going on to attract these people here. My watch and health phone showed me Dimitri is also very young. Or at least looks very young. <laughs> he certainly wouldn't stick out here. How should I try to find him? I mean, he's not even 21, he can't even drink yet. He'd be, um, perfect for fun size boys, I think. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, let's just, uh, uh, mm, uh, mm, front desk. I walk up to the front desk, and a small oh, yeah, dressed right. woman greets me. There are points that I have to be accumulating or something. Oh my, why am I not have, I, I need to save, okay, it's escape, obviously. Um, save. I, I've got to save. I can't live like this anymore. Because as, as soon as I pick one wrong choice, it's over. He's just going to... Uh, he's going to crap all over me. What is this archive? Hmm, we'll read this later, but... Hmm, what is this? Interesting. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, here's that. Here's that. Wait, high dialogue box. Wait. Wait, are you telling me that... Okay, I see. I think. Kind of. Not really. You're telling me that... Okay, well, you can just do that with H anyway. But... How are you gonna... <laughs> I remember I said back in the um, demo, I was like... Why can't I hide the dialogue box? I'd really like to be able to hide the dialogue box. And it's like, girl... You're taking this a little too <laughs> literally... <laughs> Girl, all you all you made all you did was hide the dialogue box. What if I want to hide his face in the corner? What if I want to hide these arrows? What if I want to hide sloth in the top right? When I said hide dialogue box, I didn't mean it so literally. I meant hide all of this garbage. <laughs> That's actually almost kind of funny. Okay, what is camera? What is this? One doesn't do anything unless it's taking screenshots and adding them to a folder unbeknownst to me. Gallery. Well, we can't access the gallery. But you think you'd be able to. You think it's just all our past CGs. Hellwatch? That doesn't do anything. News doesn't do anything. Contacts doesn't do anything. Alright. Well, let's just, um, get back on the road. Hello! Are you checking in? No. I'm here looking for someone. His name is Dimitri Kanan. I see. You must be here for the conference. Conference? Yes. Dimitri is here for three more days giving a presentation on a new craze. Cryptocurrencies. I believe they are called. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're not a new craze anymore, but okay. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I am here for the conference. Is he giving a presentation today? Is he kind of just like a scammer? <laughs> is he kind of just scamming everybody? Oh my god, I can't wait for him to actually just really, really, um, turn out to be a scummy person. Unfortunately, I believe he's wrapping up his presentation for the day. If you go on to our grand ballroom, you may be able to sit in on his question and answer session. Ah, great. Thank you so much. My pleasure, sir. The casino has illuminated signs hanging from the ceiling. Let's see. Table games, pool... Ah, grand ballroom. I wonder what sloth is like. Lazy, probably. How do you seduce laziness? Hey there, I like doing nothing too. I pass a blackjack table, and I double take the minimum bet. Fifty dollars. This casino is truly a place for the privileged in life. How did sloth become rich? If he's the deadly sin of sloth. Seems counterintuitive. I continue to follow signs to the grand ballroom. I pass several smaller conference rooms on the way, until I see a handmade sign directing people inside the Grand Ballroom. Litcoin International Conference. Don't mind me, I'll just head in. I get a couple curious looks from the people at the door, but I do my best to act like I'm supposed to be here. I'm lust. Of course I'm supposed to be here. I take a seat in back. There's a young man on stage giving a lecture on stuff I don't understand. Everyone in the conference seems fixated on his every word. The speaker is short, and he's wearing pajamas? And a bathrobe? 
odd. Again, I cannot emphasize enough that Litcoin is the currency of the future. I will now take a few questions before ending today's presentation. Please raise hands and an assistant will run a microphone to you. I have the sneaking suspicion the speaker is Mr. Sloth. His clothing somewhat gives him away. You know you're destroying the environment. All these leaves up here in a parrot or parakeet or a cockatoo won't make us forget that. <laughs> Seriously though, he's destroying the environment. He's pretty good at public speaking. He seems to really know what he's talking about. He's not bad looking either. He has that cute boy next door kind of charm. Not bad. Not bad. Yes, you in the black jacket. Give our assistant just a second to run you the microphone. All right, what is your question? First of all, I want to thank you, Dimitri, for coming and giving an awesome presentation. I'm honored to be here at the start of such large and massive opportunities. So it is Sloth, and that's good to know. My question is, how will Litcoin move forward as an international currency if major First World nations continue to place restrictions on the purchase and trading of it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure China was just banned it. Yes, if not yesterday, but like a couple weeks ago, they were just like, no, no more. A good question. The simple fact of the matter is... Excuse me. The simple fact of the matter is everything in the world is becoming more digitized, more secure. Governments may be able to stall the progress, that is true. But whether through adoption or simply the slow march of time, Litcoin will become a major player as its own respected currency. Nations will have no choice but to accept new technology as necessary, rather than an option. It is inevitable. Thank you for the question. I want to know who's Next. clapping at that. Mm, that yes, was a terrible you, answer. In the blue hat. <laughs> Thank you. My question revolves around security. There have been some large security breaches where people have lost vast sums of money. How can you assure people this is a rare occasion, and what precautions should they take? These guys are really actually just towering over him. This really is fun-sized voice. Not not even kidding. Like, look at them. They're giants to him. Another good question. The answer has two parts. One, the large security breaches are usually done internally. An independent website that allows trading of cryptocurrencies can overlook many security threats despite taking precautions. I recommend that you trade only on litcoins.com as I myself have personally guaranteed the security of trades and accounts. What do you do to secure or guarantee the security? Second, caution should be taken whenever you decide to put money in any investment, cryptocurrency or otherwise. <laughs> Just have caution. <laughs> He's such a scammer. Is a new movement that is receiving backlash from established banks and governments. Obviously, they do not like their power structure being threatened. If he doesn't turn out to be a scammer by the end of this um, seduction, uh, I'm going to be very disappointed. <laughs> uh, because of this uncertainty and the power struggle inherent in any new technology, I advise people that are worried about their finances to not invest. I mean, it kind of fits in with Sloth, doesn't it? I mean, he's too lazy to make money the... I was going to say honest way, but it's like, we live under capitalism. I mean, it's like... It's not... It's, it's never ethical, you know, but... <laughs> he's going to do it the lazy way, which is just scamming people. The way that takes the least effort. If you believe in the vision and are okay with potentially losing your investment, then I advise you to do so. I believe there is a great chance of profit, but I am no fortune teller. Only invest if you are able. Do not view cryptocurrency as a certainty. All right, one last question. Let us hear from a lady No, this time. I want to know who's Does clapping at these answers. They're terrible. Yes, you, lady in the you red You should be getting sweater. booed on this stage. Thank you. My question is not pertaining to Litcoin at all. My question is simply, are you single? <laughs> I am indeed single. Unfortunately, I trade on the opposite currency, if you get my meaning. Aww, that's alright. I'll set you up with my best friend if you're interested. <laughs> Thank you for the concern. I appreciate all the questions. I will see you all back here tomorrow for our discussion on small business cryptocurrency adoption and how it will affect our movement. Did this horny mom really come out here just to hit on this boy? That is all for today. Thank you all for attending. Let's all get some rest.
Sloth gets up and is immediately flanked by a few security guards. I have to talk to him. What should I do? Uh, I don't remember. Can you save during choices in this game? I feel like that's... In some games, that's frowned upon. And they just do not allow it. Let me save before I get to the choice. Let me, let me try to save now. Okay, I, I can save. I can save. It's all good. Okay. Um, run up and talk to him. Wait for a better opportunity tomorrow. I genuinely don't remember. Ooh. I remember it was like a gauntlet of choices here, though. Run up and talk to him. I run up to Sloth as he's making his way off the stage. I'm immediately intercepted by his security guards. Hey, 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 hey. Can we help you with something? The presentation is over for the day. You can help me by getting out of the way, comrade. Oh, oh my god, no Marsh accent. I Don't attack me. I was just me. wanting to speak with Dimitri. <laughs> I'm a huge fan. Uh, hi there. It's fine, guys. I can take a moment to talk to a fan. How's it going? What's your name? It's going great. My name is Kosuke. Kosuke Adai. I really loved your presentation. Oh. What was your favorite part? Uh, I wasn't listening. Okay, I lied. Um, the blockchain technology. Oh, I'm a fan of that as well. Did you know I developed most of that technology myself through my own startup company? Well, I didn't really come with a biography. Wow, that's really amazing, since you're so young as well. <laughs> I am young. How young do you think I am? Why are you blushing at that? Hmm. How old should I say he is? Augment with lust ability. Is that just like a hint, basically? Or it'll just tell you what it is. Um. Somehow I remember him getting angry if I just said 20. I feel like I remember that. That's correct. Okay, no. <laughs> I opted not to go to college in favor of pursuing my company, Litcoin International. He just loves bitches that already know everything about him. That just re read his Wikipedia page. It's like, what? <laughs> That's awesome. There's risk to that, but I'm really glad it worked out for you. Oh, thanks. That's really nice of you. Do you have any other questions you'd like me to answer? Hmm. What topic should I ask Sloth about? Uh, do you live in Vegas? Is Litcoin International based in America? I just... I remember him getting angry no matter what. I refuse to use the hint. I can seduce him all by myself. He does not live in Vegas. I think. We have two offices, one in New York and one in Russia. We're trying to open a third in Korea, but things can be slow when dealing with such things. Did he just say we're trying to open a third in Korea? Because that's what I heard. Pretty sure that's what he said. I imagine so. But it said Las Vegas. Can be pretty resistant to new tech. That's too true, sadly. Uh, what about yourself? What brings you to Vegas? Hmm. What does bring me to Vegas? Honestly, not much. Came here looking for new opportunities. We can't even use the lust thing here. <laughs> We're at the end of the road, buddy. Oh, God. Well... Honestly, not much. Came here looking for new opportunities. I see. And you stumbled onto my conference? Yes. Is that a problem? Am I not allowed... He really wanted someone who just came here for him, okay. Basically, I heard there was a pretty good-looking presenter here, and I had to come see for myself. <laughs> uh, charming. And? What do you think? What do I think of Sloth's appearance? I think you look great. Your appearance to me is like a beautiful new technological advancement. I, maybe he'll like it. That was so <laughs> cheesy, but oddly endearing. Does it win me a date tonight? Well, I have to check in on some things regarding Litcoin International. Ooh. What should I say? I need to seal the deal. Oh god. See, there's a, just a gauntlet of choices. <laughs> well, that's fine. I'll come to your room and see how Litcoin is being run behind the scenes. That's fine. Maybe I'll stop by after your presentation tomorrow and we can go by there. Well, probably A. Oh, that's a relief. I'm not into elaborate dates. I get tired very easily. I believe the word people describe me as is a homebody. 
It is good that you like staying in as well. I successfully seduced him, and all it took was playing the game once before. <laughs> I'm pretty good. I'm always willing to have quiet time alone with such a handsome guy. You're... you're really nice. I appreciate how genuine you are. Let's walk to my room. I need to check on auto trading, then we can see about dinner. Uh, I like that Litecoin auto trading is increasing in popularity. I am as well. It is a very exciting time for my company. Our auto traders maximize profits while preventing human emotion from interfering with potential market disruptions. It's a very necessary thing as cryptocurrencies are currently volatile. It is a great concept. I'm sure everyone appreciates your insight on it. As I like to say, why should I work when computers can do the work for me? What is your opinion on Litcoin personally? Do you own any Litcoins? <laughs> Enough questions. Enough questions. Let me go. I have six in my portfolio. I do not. I'm too poor, but I wish I did. Ah. It is true you have to have expendable income to safely invest in a cryptocurrency. I applaud you for not risking everything on what could be a high-risk investment. It takes real restraint, let me tell you. <laughs> you would be shocked at how many college-age people invest in things they cannot afford. Oh, I don't think I'd be shocked at all. College kids invested in going to college after all, and that's just one example. <laughs> that is both sad and true at the same time. On a different topic, what are you interested in ordering for dinner? This better not be a choice. Oh god. <laughs> uh... Yeah, some, I'm in the mood for sweets. Maybe I'll order dessert. Wow, me too. Sometimes I go a whole day just eating sugar. Uh, probably bad for me, but hey, I'm young. <laughs> we should both indulge in some sweets. I'm sure this casino has some great room service. They do. We can order something after I check on things. Here we are. A cozy little bastion of security. I like it here. Thanks for the security detail, guys. You can all take the rest of the night off. Okay, but on that note, I will end this episode here. I want to thank you all for watching this video. I hope you're all enjoying this game. Um, I'm very much enjoying it. I really hope to um, seduce him really soon. I want to see him naked. But can we even hear the music? How low do I have the music in this game? I didn't feel like I had it that low, but... Girl, is there music? Let's go to settings <laughs> before we end this video. Alright, well, there's the music. Uh, maybe the next video will have more audible music. Um, also, one thing before I end the video, let me just say thank you to my patrons. My extra generous patrons that are supporting me at the Eden tier or above, and their names are NQS, Jesse Olson, Blue Lagoon. Um, so just thank you guys, especially. And of course, I thank all my patrons. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.